Okay, hello everyone. My name is Amri. I want to share to you about iGrow. <coughs> so iGrow is a platform to help people who want to do planting, but with, li with limitation of land, knowledge to harvest, and skill to plant. So nowadays we have a big problem on food security. In 2050, we have a crop demand increase about 100, 120%, but the agricultural yield is only 24 and 35 percent. Moreover, in 2050, there are 70% of 5 billion people will live in urban areas, so they have a hard times to produce their own foods. So what do you have to do is to do more, many planting. But we have a problem on doing that. First of all, uh, there's people who have only money, some people only have farming skills, and some people only have land. So why don't we join them in iGrow? So iGrow is a green platform that wants to enable collaboration in planting by maximizing the potential of unused agricultural land. There's four simple steps, join iGrow, choose the seeds and where to plant it, and then you fund the plantations, and then you can monitor and communicate to our operators, and then by the harvest time, you can get the profit sharing. So for now, we have seven streams of income. Uh, four of them is running right now, 20% of plantations cost, list of our lands, and then sales of our agricultural products, and then for the crop selling it itself. And for the long run, we have agro-tourism, food processing commerce, carbon trading, and bio-economy. So for our revenue projections, for one sponsor in each year, we can get uh, 600 US dollar. So by only inviting 10,000 sponsors, iGrow can get 6 million US dollar each year. This number will keep on growing because in Indonesia alone, we have 31 million hectares of unused land. If iGrow can only target 0.1% of them, we can get approximately 500 million US dollar per year. So for only one year after we launch, we've already reduced 470 tons of the carbon dioxide by inviting over 600 sponsors and planting in 300 hectares of unused land. And now we have six available seeds. And we have revenue around 40, uh, 450K US dollar. So recently we have already uh, harvested in March 2015, 400, uh, 40 hectares of uh, peanuts. And this month, Your 120 time is up, hectares of. But you can wrap up quickly. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, great. Any questions from the mentors? There's an ask waiting for you over here anyways. <laughs> you know, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've got many, many questions. When I read it, I, I, well, it, this is really ambitious and really complex. And I, I guess you have thought about distribution, commercialization, uh, the risks of, of, of climate change and everything. How, how are you able to, to, to respond to an investor who, who is concerned about his putting the money and say, well, I mean, there are so many variables, so, so many complexities that, that would be difficult to, to put it, to make it work altogether because you are talking about farms everywhere, all kind of products. Uh, well, it's a, it's a very complex idea. Yes. <laughs> oh, for the first, uh, first of all, we have to tell you that uh, we have uh, two schemes of protection on our customers. The first of all is insurance. So uh, by there's a <coughs> natural disaster, floods, or fire, we've covered uh, the harvest by up to 80%. And then we also have second schemes, which, which is the <coughs> stabilizing the crop value. So in like one hectares of uh, peanuts, uh, not all of them will have a good quality. So the good quality will cover the bad quality itself. So the value will be same for all our sponsors. Um, we've, al uh, we've already told them in the front about this kind and they approve on it. That's our, that's our protections of the harvest itself. Uh, and for the crops, <coughs> we have uh, two different kind of crops, the uh, short run and the long run. For the short run, like peanuts, uh, we've, you've uh, give 1. million rupees, and then the, the return will be 30% uh, that you can get by the f uh, five month of five after the harvest. And for the long run, we got durians. Uh, they harvest 
for five years, each of them, and uh, will be last about 20 years. So you, you can get the return uh, about uh, 10 to 13% in 20 years. Uh, I really like the idea that it's a little bit hard to understand your pitch because I think you're trying to compress everything and you only need to do that. So like, don't, don't do that. You don't need to explain seven revenues. <clears throat> Just get to the part where you, you said you were making money. Oh. Like, that's really powerful to get to that. And I don't care the fact that I just understand it. I just want to know how. How do I? No, no, no. no. Yeah, I'm just saying make it simple. Make it simple. All right, really good when you got to that yeah. point. But like before that, I was like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Besides the value of the work that you're planting, yeah. it's probably personally to actually take into consideration that. Why are you pursuing this project that could, I don't think it will monetize quickly, you know, or as big as you want it to be. So what drives you to do Actually, first of all, it's the food security problem in Indonesia itself. Like, of so many unused land in Indonesia, but they just die and then not used. So, uh, but in while so many problems, uh, we've imported many of uh, our like corn, uh, rice, so many in <coughs> different uh, countries. But in our country itself, we we can do it actually. But uh, <clears throat> and then we also want to make uh, how the money itself uh, not just sitting around in the bank depositos. We want uh, the money will to like funding for the farmers for the plantation itself, greening the environment. So uh, our target market is uh, around 30 million people who have middle to top income and have a big. Uh, Concern about green environment. Okay, for now, uh, I'm sorry. So obviously, I'm not a farmer. Maybe it's a stupid question, but who sells the produce at the end? Like, is it the responsibility of the farmer, the landowner? Do you guarantee that you're going to be able to sell the produce to a retailer or somebody who's going to use it? Okay, thank you. That's a great question. For now, uh, we've already partnered with uh, three big companies in Indonesia. Uh, one, uh, Kacang Garuda and PT Dua Kelinci, which is uh, the biggest uh, peanut producers in Indonesia. They, uh, they, they dis uh, our, we distribute our uh, crop products of peanuts to them. And for banana, we've already have partnered with uh, Carrefour, one of the biggest uh, retail market in the world. Uh, and they have not enough. Uh, we can get them around to 20 percent, but they need about 10,000 hectares of banana. So uh, we're kind of like short product right now. Okay. Nah. And yes, uh, I grow is like opening these seeds that's already have the partner. Okay. We're not opening for the one that we cannot sell. Okay. okay. I think not for now. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.